A little while back, I did a review of the Mackie CR Stealth Bar. It was a relatively compact PC soundbar you could throw on your desk for when you needed audio during, uh, you know, gaming, listening to music while you're working, anytime you didn't want to use your, basically your headphones or the computer's built-in speakers. And I liked it. It sounded great. It was well built, as all Mackie things are. But a soundbar kind of set up a footprint of a soundbar doesn't work for everybody's space. Sometimes your monitor doesn't go high enough or you don't have enough space on your desk to put the actual soundbar and for that Mackie has come up with another awesome new kind of desktop speaker product the CR2X Cube. This is a pair of little desktop speakers with a really interesting driver on them. It's called a balance mode radiator, a BMR. And in addition to this really unique driver setup, which I'll talk about in just a moment, it also has multiple inputs for connectivity, really nice build quality. This package is freaking heavy. And you know, the things that we've come to expect from Mackie, like good construction and great sounding audio. And in this video today, I'm going to unbox this. I'm going to show you everything that comes inside. I'm going to tell about the technology behind these drivers and then of course do a sound test because I know y'all love it and give you my thoughts after using these for the past little bit. Now if you're new here my name is Jordan this is the Phage Reviews YouTube channel thank you so much for being here if you are new welcome if you are a subscriber thank you for coming back as always. I'm going to dive into opening this package up in just a second but if you're not consider becoming a subscriber it helps the channel grow and it helps me keep bringing you awesome content every week. All I got to do ring the notification bell leave a comment we're about to hit 5,000 subscribers probably by the time this video come out it will have happened and uh, I just appreciate everyone's support for getting me there but enough about that let's take a look at this Mackie CR2 X cube so as I mentioned before this is a relatively compact speaker setup meant to go on your desk to give you audio while you're working on your computer gaming live streaming stuff like that and you know one of the things that really makes these stand out is their driver technology it's called balanced mode radiator and you're going to get to see it in a moment basically it gives you a really nice full range sound uh, in a very wide dispersion pattern in a very compact speaker form factor okay so looking inside the box here you know we've got our manual as always they're relatively straightforward speakers but if you do need help with you know hooking it up We've got that right here. There's the speakers themselves, which we'll talk about in just a moment. And then we've got uh, our accessory box right here. Now, inside of the accessory box, you're gonna get a really nice, actually surprisingly nice power cable. Kind of looks like a laptop charging cord. It's got your brick right here, your DC to AC, as well as the plug-in for, I'm guessing, whatever country you're in. Um, good six foot length probably there. So plenty to reach the floor. They also include a couple other cables. We've got a USB-C cable because this can function uh, digitally if you wanna use it kinda as is a, is a sound card of sorts and send your audio to it over USB-C. Uh, you can do that. We've also got an aux cable if you want to go the old school route as well as this uh, RCA cable. So multiple connectivity options depending if you're using this uh, with the TV or a computer or a phone. And in addition, we've got Bluetooth. So we've got wireless connectivity as well, which is always something nice to have. Even if you know, you're not using it in like a professional setting at home, Bluetooth is the move, okay? Now underneath all of that, or in addition to those accessories, we've got the speakers themselves. And like I said before, the first thing that really struck me when I got these in the mail is how heavy they are. They're hefty. I don't know what size the magnet is in them, but all I know is that it's very well built. The construction, we've got that similar Mackie black and kind of green accent design. These are on a fixed angle stand right here, rubber feet on the bottom, just a really nice kind of brushed face plate right here, and then a matte finish on the sides. Now you're going to notice that driver look a little different to you, that's the balanced mode radiator. It's a completely flat diaphragm. And let me tell you guys, I had to search this up. I didn't know what a BMR meant, what, what that technology was. I read a ton of articles, I watched a couple of videos, and basically, they're trying to, I don't know, cheat the physics. If you have a perfectly flat driver with no mass, it can create a linear response in a super wide uh, dispersion pattern with an equal sound level SPL across the whole thing. If that doesn't, if that's kind of techno jargon for you, I get it. Basically, this is going to give you, and I've tested this, and it's, it happens. It's crazy. It gives you a very wide, almost 180 degree even sound across the whole listening area. You can walk from here all the way over here, and it sounds the exact same. It's wild. It also can um, eliminate the need for like a tweeter and a woofer, two separate drivers. It gives you a full range sound from a single small speaker. Now, we can't cheat physics too much. 
you need a subwoofer, which this has an output for, okay? You need a subwoofer for the lowest of lows, but this gets comfortably down into like the mid, the mid bass and sounds good doing it, okay? So for everyday use, um, if you're not rocking EDM and hip hop, you can use these alone. If you are, add the sub. They sell, it's the CR6, I think is the sub that they sell. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I've got another one in here as well. So on the back of this guy, which is the main speaker, you can see our inputs and outputs. The RCA cable that was included, I misspoke. That's actually for the outputs of the uh, powered speaker to the non-powered speaker. This one will actually power this one. You've got RCA outputs for that and RCA inputs for that on here. We've got our line input as well as our sub output, both your 3.5 mil headphone jack. We have our USB if you wanna go the digital audio route and we have our power DC in right there. We've got a little power toggle switch and that's gonna be all the controls on the back of the speaker. Now on the front, if I can turn it around right here, we've got a little touch pad and I really like this control. You don't have a knob and you don't have like a dial anywhere. It's actually a touch sensitive strip that you can drag all the way to the left to mute or drag to the right to go to full volume or you can just touch on the strip where you want the volume to be. Super nice, very modern, very cool looking. And um, that's kind of all of your controls, your ins and outs, your functions of this. Now I'll overlay some B-roll footage showing me changing the input. There actually is a single little button next to that touch strip for your input change to go between the line in, the digital, and the Bluetooth. Now Bluetooth connects very easily. You just put it in Bluetooth mode, select it from your phone, and you're good to go there. So let's kind of talk about sound quality before I give you a quick demo. I was blown away, like I said, with the super wide, even sound of these guys. Um, you can walk from one side of the room to the other and it just sounds the same. It's weird. Um, it doesn't matter if you're in the middle or the side. It just, it, it does, and you move farther away, it just sounds the same. It's crazy. I don't know what the tech is behind this. I tried to explain it, but it's really cool and I'm really impressed by it. Now, again, um, you're gonna miss low ends because this driver's like a couple inches at max. And so add the sub. If you need that low end, if you're doing more than just you know casual listening, you can do that and it will sound even better. I don't have it right now. Maybe in the future I'll get one to add to the system. But you know, you can listen to me. I'm happy to do a sound demo for you guys. I'm not a big fan of them just because by the time it goes through all the uploading and compressing and editing process, it doesn't really sound the same through your earphones as it does in real life. But we'll do a demo anyway, so let's cut to that. All right, so I've got my trusty Tascam recorder right here. I've got the Mackie CR2X cubes set up right there. Uh, I'm going to hold this about, you know, where uh, someone would sit uh, in a near field kind of on your desk setup. And we'll just record some royalty free audio from the YouTube library. So we'll start off with a little bit of rock. <laughs> And there you have it. That is the Mackie CR2X Cube Stereo Speakers. I'm super impressed with these guys. Like I said, they're hefty, they're well-built, and they sound phenomenal in a wide listening area. Um, if I had to pick you know, something to improve, maybe in a next version, I, I wish this angle on the monitor was adjustable. It's just kind of fixed like this. If you were able to tilt it up or something, that would be cool. But even so, this offers more positioning flexibility than the sound bar does, the stealth bar. So I think these are gonna be the permanent main stay speakers on my editing desk now and uh, like I said I'm just very impressed as usual with Mackie's build quality and with the sound quality as always if you want to pick up a pair of these I will include a link down in the description below you can buy through there support the channel and if you're not picking up a pair of these awesome speakers today you can always subscribe ring the notification bell leave a comment and like the video because that helps the algorithm as well but that's gonna be it for today thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time